So it's your boy Downsizing. I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. So Adam 22 calls Mexicans dirty. Now this coming from someone who just a couple days ago I seen on another platform with another man who he shared his wife with. Now that's dirty. That's a different type of dirty. That's a dis morally disgusting dirty. Now a filthy dirty from someone who works in the field, you know, or a mechanic or a construction worker, or even someone who wandered in the desert for days. It's no wonder that they would be filthy and dirty. It's not. But it's a wonder how someone so immaculate perceived can believe or disbelieve that he himself is even more dirty than that himself. That the deeds that he does is far more dirty and disgusting and filthy. To share one's own wife with another man for money makes you a whore, makes both of you whores. You will say and do anything for the money. So people understand this. When you watch Adam, he does it for the money. He sold his soul a long time ago. There's no depths to which he will fall in order to, in order to co-create controversy and conflict on her that sells, that runs up his bank account. It's all about the Benjamins. He don't give a fuck about us. We're just titles. We're just puppets to be played by master because that's how he sees himself. He's gone on other platforms, uh, other platforms and showed his racist superiority complex. He's demonstrated and verbalized what he thinks about the minority community. He's expressed that. He has the same disdain for the blacks as he does for anyone else. It's like, it's, it's like, it's like the white master who impregnates the black slave girl. That's what Adam 16 is. You see? That's what his deeds demonstrate to the world. He only cares about the money. That's all he sees as he lives in a lap of luxury at our expense, calling us names, thinking so little of us, all of us, no matter who goes across from him and sits there and he, and he plays them into believing that he's all impressed with them. He doesn't give a fuck. He's just waiting for that moment to get them fucking clickbait titles out of people. That viral content, that's all he's there for. He sits back and just waits for it. Sits there and acts like he's all scared and this and that. Yeah, man, don't know. He got security right there, armed. He lulls people into a, a false sense of security there all around. He, he tears down all inhibitions by giving them all they want, catering to their every want and need, making them feel so special. And then he gets them right there on the camera and he fucks them. And he fucks them. And it doesn't matter what happens to their fucking career. If you die, he makes more from it. He makes more from it. Think about it. This man who called Mexicans dirty sells his wife to other men for money. 
while he sells everyone on there. He sells all of his staff and everyone who goes on the show. He sells them all out for the same. But they sell themselves out for going there in shame and putting themselves to shame. And they don't have no one, no one but themselves to blame. Was he wrong about what he said? No. Anyone who's been there in the field knows. I've had to go out to mile markers on highways near the border and, you know, signal and get people to come out with backpacks, bundles full of fucking narcotics, drugs to load up. In exchange, we give them water, gallons of water, jerky, fruits, you know, dry fruit and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Stuff that they can carry along for a couple of days. Yeah, of course they don't smell pleasant, but we're not there for that. But he cares about that. Load this shit up and let's go. There's time enough for shower later. But you can't wash off. You cannot wash off the stain of another man's nut all over your, all over your wife's mouth. Peace and a mouth.